Yo, check it. My heart has always been and continues to be to this very day to reveal the divine in you. You see, the need to understand what is real and what is not real, what is perceptional reality and what is ultimate reality, is a necessary part of awakening. Because this gives us the ability to laugh when we used to cry, to be at peace when we used to be anxious. Because the kingdom of heaven is within you, dude. See, perceptional reality, in perceptional reality, two people can have the same exact experience and have two radically different stories of that experience. One person experiences the moment as joy. The other person experiences the moment as absolute misery. Two people go to the same movie. One person walks away, that movie's awesome. The other person walks away and says, that movie's horrible. Which one was real? Well, I tell you, perceptionally, that both of those stories was were accurate. That was their perceptional reality. Neither one of the stories are true. That movie was not horrible, nor was that movie great. It was just a movie. It was neither good nor bad. Government is neither good nor bad. People, in general, are neither good nor bad. They're just people. What they're manifesting is the result of what they're conscious of. So when you manifest evil, it's because you were conscious of evil. It doesn't mean you were evil. When you manifest good, it was because you were conscious of something that was good. It doesn't mean that you are good. This is why Jesus said in the scripture, he goes, don't call me good. No one is really good. He's saying that you can't be good. I'm not good in the sense of good and evil, perceptional. I, my goodness is altogether good. Like it's a goodness that far supersedes perceptional reality, what I would call ultimate reality, what the Bible might call the kingdom of God. This ultimate reality of perfection of your goodness is within you. So you see, the story we tell, the story that we're convinced is true, and may even contain some fact, is nothing more than perceptional reality. It is a realm meant to be enjoyed and played within, not a realm meant to be bought. Like, oh, this is what's real. Like, the Democrats or the liberals are trying to destroy our country, or the Republicans are trying to do this, or the, the black people are, again, racist, or the white police officers are racist. No, all of that is perceptional reality. We watch one little thing, we have one little experience, and then we, we based on that perceptional reality, we create an entire story, an entire movie, an entire story of our life based on that reality but it's not true it's just perception see if you're if you're taking life too seriously if you're not having fun you're not seeing ultimate reality you haven't yet awakened to the reality that is ultimate to the kingdom to the christ consciousness to your buddha nature to your divine god likeness and instead, you're seeing the playground, perceptional reality, and you're calling it real. You're seeing the fires on the West Coast, and you're seeing the flooding on the East Coast, and the hurricanes in the South, and the, the, the racial injustice, and the political mess that we're in, and you're seeing all of it, and you think it's real. It's perceptional reality. The reason why we're divided is because you have people that are perceiving it this way, and you have people that are perceiving it that way. And this is called duality. And when we live in duality, we will live uh, not only divided out here, but it's because we're divided within. We have a divided consciousness. And as a result, we're living in a divided manifestation. But when you realize the truth of ultimate reality and we enter into a place of singular Christ consciousness, then all of a sudden we enter into a place of singular world where the playground is no longer one minute joyous and fun a party and the next minute misery, but it remains and continues to be bliss, happiness, joy, contentment, satisfaction. It remains a party at all times. And most importantly... It remains love. Love is what it's all about. And true love, unconditional love, the kind of love that refuses to be divided from someone, the kind of love that loves you regardless of what you do or do not do, the kind of love that is continually issuing forgiveness because they never keep a record of wrongs, this kind of love 
is only found in the singular perspective of the kingdom of God or of ultimate reality or of Christ consciousness or of the Buddha nature or the divine nature, whatever word you want to use there, whatever you want to call it. It's only found there. And so I hope that this helps you because it's my desire, it's my passion, man, to see the world awaken to oneness. It's our, my passion to see you awaken to the reality of what and who you've always been beyond your skin color, beyond your political agendas, beyond the way that you were raised or the way that you grew up in a Christian home or a Buddhist home or a Muslim home and it, it, beyond all of that shit. What we are is the same. We're divine. And I love you. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Remember, the more we awaken, the more we play.